reauthorize the Violence Against Women Act. You need to know that gun-owning women are under attack. Hi, I'm Phil Riboli, host of the Minuteman Moment. I wrote the Violence Against Women Act. It's been a constant struggle to keep it moving. We know red flag laws can have significant effect in protecting women from domestic violence. Close the boyfriend and stalking loopholes to keep guns out of the hands of people. Do you think it should be harder for a woman to purchase a firearm? Of course you don't, because gun rights are women's rights. That's why GOA opposes the gun control contained in H.R. 1620, the so-called Violence Against Women Reauthorization Act of 2021, or VAWA 21. The House of Representatives just passed this egregious gun control 244 to 172, with 29 Republicans voting in favor. Now it's on the way to the Senate. You need to tell your senator that VAWA 21 is gun control. H.R. 1620 would actually encourage violence against women in three ways. First, by facilitating their disarmament using ex parte court proceedings. Second, by broadly expanding the category of persons prohibited from possessing firearms. Third, by providing federal funding and assistance for increased gun confiscation. Let's dig into the bill and you can see for yourself. Sections 1201, 1202, and 1203 would require the FBI to notify local law enforcement of delayed denials, so-called lie and try purchases, and allow the Attorney General to appoint and deputize local government officials to facilitate the increased prosecutions and gun confiscations. But the vast majority of these denials are usually determined to not be worth pursuing or prosecuting. State governments have admitted that they either cannot afford to remove a trooper from traffic duty or don't find it an effective use of resources to track down and prosecute every denied firearm purchase. Sections 801 and 802 expand and create new prohibited person categories in federal law. This includes an expanded misdemeanor crime domestic violence prohibition under the anti-gun Lautenberg Amendment. A misdemeanor is a crime carrying a potential penalty of as little as one day in jail. In many jurisdictions, spanking your kids could result in a misdemeanor conviction which would prohibit you from ever owning a firearm. In other words, the law imposes a lifetime gun ban on offenses which, in many cases, are very minor in nature. There is no exemption for battered women who receive these misdemeanor convictions after they use force to defend themselves against their abusers. Tragically, many women fall into this category and are now unable to use firearms to protect themselves, even if they feel that their lives are in danger. VAWA 21 also creates a new prohibition for any misdemeanor crime of stalking. And with the passage of the Pet and Women's Safety Act, anyone can be prosecuted for a misdemeanor crime of stalking for causing fear of the death of or serious bodily injury to a pet, a service animal, or an emotional support animal, or a horse. These prohibition changes would also apply retroactively to anyone who has ever been convicted of that crime in the past, greatly expanding the number of names currently in the NICS database. It also applies to anyone who has ever been subject to an ex parte gun confiscation order. Finally, Section 102 of the Violence Against Women Reauthorization Act of 2021 provides federal grants to fund this resulting increase in federal gun confiscation. At a 2019 Senate Judiciary hearing on gun confiscation orders, researcher David Kopel testified that about a third of gun confiscation orders are wrongly issued against innocent people. He also referenced a police report where a concealed carrier in California was disarmed with a GCO by her cheating husband. According to Kopel, the woman began carrying her Glock handgun within her residence, but a gun confiscation order was obtained by the husband to confiscate that gun. No gun owner, man or woman, wants gun confiscation orders. Congress shouldn't get in the way of more women exercising their right to self-defense and carry firearms for personal protection. That's it for today. I'm Phil Riboli with the Miniman Moment.